wrong, guys. I can't do this. All right, so you got you got Alberta and you got Montreal, according to the boys. Yeah, it's Battle Canada. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to FD, Zero Suit, Diddy. Yeah. Oh, and we're having a button check. Looks like it, yeah. This is the thing. These are, these are both characters that uh, I guess require a bit of precision to get right. And button checking never hurts in this situation. You know what? Take that 30 seconds and everything. I, I, just don't be those people that like take five minutes to button check. It's like, oh, come on, man. Yeah, you really don't need that. <laughs> well, that was a nice uh, rocket barrel by Pixie going all the way from one, one side of FD to the other. Whee! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Getting that maximum distance. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm not sure if FD is the stage they will go for game one or if they're going to strike afterwards. What's that? Oh, okay. Perfect. So, Terrence. All right. They're back in it. They're going to go. Oh, I don't think they've struck yet. So. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the RPS coming out. And, uh, yeah, for those who are wondering, uh, this... Uh, this is by far the biggest event in Ontario and in Canada. In Canada overall. We yeah. got 490 entrances in this tournament. Yeah, 508, I think, in Melee. 510, maybe. Really? Yes. No, only that small of a gap? Wow. Well, the cap was five. Yeah, cap was 512. Oh, it right, hit the so. cap. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, so Melee definitely hit the cap. And Smash 4 came close. But mm -hmm. still, the, the next biggest event was like, what, like 130? Per game, yeah. Uh, yeah, something like that. Melee was 220 at uh, at uh, Gama last year, mm -hmm. but that was again because of a uh, of a cap. So yeah, definitely with the newer venue, attracting a lot more people. Yeah, I'm loving this venue, man. This is an upgrade from you, um, York University. For sure, for sure. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice, cozy venue, but definitely wasn't suitable for a major. Yeah, definitely. All, All right, right, here we, we go. We're going to Duck Hunt game one. Yeah. Strange, strange pick. Yeah. Both players look like they're going to roll with it, so here we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, set by Laser Banana. Yeah. Oh, nice stare. Yeah. And I feel like this is a matchup that Exodia seems to be pretty comfortable in, judging by the way he started this. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're going to pick a strange stage like this. Well, I could go the other way, too. Like, you're not comfortable with this, so, oh, i got to pick a strange stage. Duck yeah. hunt. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. Good grab. Reels him in. That duck actually helping him out there, extending the hitbox for the uh, up air. Mm -hmm. Oh, misses the boost kick. Oh, doesn't roll over or anything. Nope. <laughs> Just kind of sat there on the bush and got hit. Oh, that uh, dog could have hurt Pixie, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, gets hit by the boost kick again. Yeah. That thing is really stale now, though. Yeah, Pixie uh, on the receiving end of now two boost kicks. Mm -hmm. Bringing it back there with those fares. And again. Oh, misses the flip kick. Oh, oh, tries to read an air dodge. Yeah, it just got punished caught by the bear. Yeah. Exodia with a pretty solid advantage right here. Let's see if he can capitalize this, or if Pixie can bring it back right away. Mm -hmm. All right, All right toss. That's actually a really good usage of the Zero, trying just getting rid of the banana right away. Because yeah. Diddy can't do anything right away out of out of it. That's and true. And Zero being very legless. Oh, that dog uh, definitely uh, playing for Pixie there. <laughs> <laughs> Able to catch him with the monkey flip grab. Mm -hmm. Oh, tries to beat up the flip kick. Yeah. Up tilt has a big hitbox and he actually catches him from that. Mm -hmm. So okay. Oh, tries to go for a Zero again. Oh, good grab. Could this be it? Nope. And Nana up smash. Nice. Pixie bringing it back slightly there. Okay. Nicely done. Pixie building up that percent. Banana, down throw, down air. And uh, Pixie's shown that uh, he hasn't let early bad early stocks uh, get to him. Yeah, definitely not. Although, like, he still needs some catching up to do. Oh, he's uh, only 20, uh, 25 percent behind. Goes for a forward smash. Yeah. Oh, good oh, grab. Yeah, reels him in. Oh, gets the air dodge. Doesn't take the stock though. Quite Very close. Yeah. Pixie still with a fighting chance, but Exodia trying to get that uh, oh. paralyzer. Oh my! Doesn't recognize it because of the grass. Yeah. Couldn't see where he was going. Air dodging. Save his life right there. Oh, boost kick though. Emergency button. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna do it. Zodia clutches out game one, and uh, Pixie 
Gonna have to do a little bit of adaptation right here to bring this back. All right. Now, Pixie was Pixie was showing some flashes of. Uh, oh, he had some good moments there. He had good moments, but like it felt like. It just felt like he couldn't get in. Yeah. In my opinion. That's true. But uh, that's the thing. Like Exodia is just capitalizing on pretty much every opportunity he gets. And just making the most of it, yeah. And Pixie went for the raw forward smash. Yeah. I like I like the uh, I like the gumption that he showed there, but that's a, that's a that's a big risk more than anything, especially at the start of the match. Now, obviously, a good start won't guarantee that you win a game, but at the same time, it gives you that momentum that you need to carry. Oh yeah. Up to the end. Okay. Well, not only that, it gives you time to re like, okay, oh I gotta reassess myself, for example. Yeah. No, for sure, and that's the thing. Like, getting off to a solid percent lead at the beginning of a match gives you a little bit more confidence, right? Oh, oh my. Good, good capitalization over there. Zodia turning on the flare right now. Okay. Oh, that pop gun cancel. Raw boost kick. Pixie misses it. Okay. He's got to watch those monkey flips. Those are not safe. Oh, banana down smash to boost kick. It, yep. Yeah, and again, uh, Pixie uh, getting a little bit careless with those monkey flip recoveries mm -hmm. on a stage. Seen that time and time again from Diddy Main. Sometimes they get a little bit too dependent uh -huh. on the recovery option. Yeah, definitely have to be very careful when like your opponent has the banana because you know what? You just because you can like capitalize off the banana doesn't mean they can't. True. And Exodia showing a, oh. a good knowledge of what to do with the banana and around it. Ooh. The <laughs> He's turning in place trying to see if uh, Pixie uh, flinches yeah, before he does. Doesn't eat the beat though. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Good banana. Wow. Bear I like oh. that. Oh, tries to go for that nice barrels again. Uh, Pixie trying to be a little bit cheeky right there, but Exodia uh, sees to no. it. And, oh, wow. Put him in free fall, but he got a bear out. Yeah. Oh. Exodia hopped into the air. Oh, wow, nice shot. It. I'll smash. Yeah. I think, I think he knows Exodia is jumping from the ledge a lot. All right. Something happened in the melee section. But Exodia. Oh, Exodia. Pumping this guy up with a couple of up airs right here. Oh. Oh, the nice pop gun. That is sniping. Fully charged peanut. Oh, tries to read a roll. Oh, that gets punished. Exodia turns around, hits him with the F smash. All right. Good grab. Another flip kick, trying to get an air dodge, but the bear, the bear. is going to take that. Yep. Exodia looking really fresh with that 2-0. Yeah, looking real strong. Yeah. Second game was uh, a bit of a wash. Mm -hmm. Now, it's actually funny because yeah. a lot of people were uh, doubting Exodia's uh, skill level. Yeah. Thinking, like, maybe we should put him as a high second seed. No. no. I told you guys. I told you guys. Alberta is not free. Well, I mean, I was watching this guy's VODs, too, and <laughs> I was pretty sold on him being a first. Mm -hmm. 